What does it look like there's only yellow ones in here? What the heck? What is up my beautiful mom bars and welcome back to my kitchen. Today, I'm gonna be making a cereal pizza. I know, it sounds crazy. It's gonna be a breakfast pizza. Come on, let's make some cereal pizza. Let's go, let's go. So now that I have all my ingredients in front of me, I have my activated yeast, my cinnamon toast crunch, and my flour. I'm gonna go ahead and put these in here first. I'm gonna add all my flour in directly into the bowl. Just like this, come on flour, get in here. Hello? After you get all your flour in, you go, wanna go ahead and add your cinnamon toast crunch directly into it. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, that smells so good, cinnamon toast crunch in there. So I'm gonna turn it on stir and have it start mixing. All right, everything is ready to go. Oh, I can smell the cinnamon toast crunch. I'm really excited about that. So now I'm gonna take my yeast right here and I'm gonna slowly incorporate it into here. Slowly just drizzle it in. Hello, Mr. Yeast. Come on. It smells so weird. Pizza dough. Then I'm gonna fully drop it in. Now all the yeast is fully incorporated into the dough. Turning into pizza dough now, guys. It's turning into dough. Ooh. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful the pizza dough is. It's coming together so beautifully, and I can smell the cinnamon in it, so I'm really excited to make it a pizza. So right now, we're ready to take it out and actually let it rest and rise. One hour later. Okay, so now that our dough is ready, I'm gonna actually prep the bowl that it's gonna be rising in. So I have some olive oil right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and get a paper towel. Put some olive oil on it like this. I'm gonna go ahead and just rub down my bowl like this so it doesn't stick to it. And it's gonna give it a cool taste later too and help it become crispy. Now that my bowl is nice and shiny, I'm gonna actually prep my pizza dough. Ooh. I'm gonna grab a little bit of flour. I'm gonna go ahead and dust my workstation just right here. And now I'm gonna grab our cinnamon toast crunch pizza dough. Oh my goodness. It smells so good. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put it down here and I'm just gonna turn it out and up and over. And then I'm gonna go up and over until it is rounded out just like this. And then I have my beautiful ball of a dough right here. And it's gonna have a little bit of flour on it so it doesn't get stuck to anything. And then I'm gonna go ahead and place it directly in the center of my bowl, just like this. And then I'm gonna get a wet cloth and put that over it like this and let it relax in here in a nice dark area. And now I'm gonna let it relax for about one hour and take a beautiful dough nap and we'll see it later uh. all right we're back and I brought the bread out of my rising rest and relaxation are you ready to be awoken whoa it grew so much it's like a little baby and now it's so big look how much dough there is now this is insane there's so much in here oh my goodness what there's so much air in here it's just risen so high oh my gosh now I'm gonna be flowering my station here this is getting nice and not so sticky so I'm getting flour everywhere I have my dough I have it right here and I'm just gonna go ahead and drop it right on top of here and just start to work it a lot oh my gosh this dough feels so nice okay I'm gonna start rolling this bad boy out I have a rolling pin right here I'm gonna go ahead and get some flour directly onto the rolling pin Ooh, ooh. <laughs> it feels so nice. I can see some of the cinnamon toast crunch particles in there. It's so crazy. So I'm gonna keep rolling it out until it's in the shape of a pizza. And don't be afraid to add more flour if you think you need it because you don't want things sticking together. Gosh, I love dough so much. It just reminds me of like Play-Doh. I gotta make it more circular. Come here, come this way, sir. Hello, Mr. Dough, don't go all that way. All right, then I'm gonna put it on my hands. And if you want, you can just, uh, you know, get this dough around your hand. You can just start to work it, you know, and just move it around, you know, mama me. You, know, you can spin it around like this, and then we can go and keep working with the back of your palm. Oh my goodness, this is so nice. I love making pizza dough. Look at this. Wow. Wow. Oh gosh. There we go. So I have it there, back on here, and then you can continue to roll and make sure your dough is nice and even. All right, so I rolled out my pizza, but it is massive. So what I did was I got this pizza pie thing and I used it as like a mold. I'm gonna put this on top right here and then I'm gonna go ahead and go around this with my pizza cutter and I'm gonna cut up my pizza because this is a pizza cutter. It's what it's made for, right? Okay, here we go. And we are good, I think. Yeah. Woo, oh, oh, 
There we go. Okay, cool. So we have like basically a perfect circle now that is the same exact size as my pizza pan right here. And then we're gonna put it in. Get ready. <laughs> There we go. Okay, we can move it around. It's flexible. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna make is a cinnamon sugar butter. So I have some brown sugar and I have some cinnamon right here. I'm gonna add my cinnamon directly into my brown sugar. Give that a good little stir, just like that. Then I'm gonna grab some butter and I'm gonna put that directly into here. Mush this around until the cinnamon, the butter, and the sugar are all incorporated together. This is kind of like the same thing you would do to a cinnamon roll. So I'm actually using that same cinnamon roll concept, like the things you would put on the inside of a cinnamon roll. I'm gonna put that on the top first layer of my breakfast cereal. Once you have your butter and your cinnamon and your sugar all beautifully incorporated just like this, you can go ahead and take it out and just place it on your pizza. And we can start to move it around. And so this is gonna be kind of like the sauce of my pizza. So this is gonna be the very base of it. The first taste we're gonna get on the bottom of everything. Okay, now that we have the cinnamon sugar butter on here, we're gonna go ahead and open my oven, which I preheated to 415 degrees. I'm gonna go ahead and stick my pizza in here. I'm gonna see you later in like 10 minutes. Ah, okay, so I just pulled it out of the oven after 10 minutes and it looks delicious. Look at that, look at the brown crispiness there. It smells like cinnamon, it's nice and soft. Oh my gosh, okay, so we're gonna let this cool down for a little bit and then I'm gonna ice it. Now that my pizza is cooled off and ready, I'm gonna go ahead and grab some icing. You can use your own homemade icing. I just bought some store bought pen and I'm just gonna spread it right over it. Oh my gosh, this looks so pretty already. I can't wait. It smells like cinnamon. I can't even ice correctly because I'm so excited with this pizza. Oh no, ah, ah, it's stuck. Okay, so now I am done frosting it. It is, it is beautiful. Look at it, it's cinnamony, it's frosting-y. Now we're gonna start to add our toppings. So I have one of my favorite cereals, Captain Crunch Berries. I'm gonna go ahead and put those all around here. Oh my gosh. What does it look like there's only yellow ones in here? What the heck? Crunch Berries, where are you? I only have yellow ones in here. What is this? It's okay, the Crunch Berries are gonna be here. Oh my goodness. Yes. Now we have to do our drizzles to finish it off. This is a breakfast classic. You know, if you're eating pancakes, you have to have syrup. So I figured for cereal pizza, we have to have some syrup. So I'm gonna go ahead and go from this side and start to just drizzle syrup all across it, just like this. Mm. The finishing touch to the cereal pizza, I'm gonna grab some condensed milk. That is my cereal pizza right here. I have Captain Crunch, Fruity Pebbles. I don't know what this is gonna taste like. I've never had a breakfast dessert pizza. This is what it is right here, it's crazy. My mom, every morning for school, used to put condensed milk on bread for me for breakfast, so that's where I got the condensed milk for this. Hopefully, this tastes good. It's, a, it's really inspired by cinnamon rolls and just breakfast. Okay, so now that we've fully decorated it, it's time to cut into it. So I'm gonna go from the edge right here. Oh, did you just hear that? Oh my gosh, it's so crispy. Oh my goodness. <sighs> what? You're stuck in the front. Oh, oh my goodness, look how pretty this is. And it's like dripping on the edges, look at that. That is so gorgeous. All right guys, here we go. I have my cereal pizza. It's not even breakfast time right now. I'm so excited to try it. There's some frosting here. We got some fruity pebbles. We got Captain Crunch for the crunchiness. We're gonna take a bite, here we go. In three, in two, in one. I can eat this, this is really good. Wait. The cinnamon toast crunch dough with all this frosting and the Captain Crunch on this, oh my gosh, I don't know how this combination works, but it just works, it's so delicious. Oh my gosh, there's syrup on top too. You forget it's there because you put it on, it's kind of like clear, but then it comes back and you can definitely taste the maple syrup. If you guys are a fan of both of these cereals, this is the best way to have them. I'm gonna try the crunch really fast, wait. Let's go, you can taste the cinnamon toast crunch and the cinnamon butter on there, it's just, mm. I can't stop eating it. I don't want to eat it. This is a breakfast lover's dream. You know, if you like donuts, you can just eat these instead. This is cereal. You can share this with all your friends. There's so many slices. I have one, two, three, four, five. I have five slices. 
extra. So if you guys want some, just let me know, tweet me. I can bring you some slices right here. Like, hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> Leave in the comments below what kind of cereals you would have used on top of your pizza. Um, I don't know, you know, would you have used Cinnamon Toast Crunch, Frosted Flakes, whatever. Let me know what you would have used on your cereal pizza. If you try this, for sure send me pictures. I want to see them, okay, Marmarsh? Give this video a big thumbs up if you love cereal, if you love pizza, and you love cereal. And I'll see you guys tomorrow, 12 p.m., for another new video. <gasps> Peace!